Hello and welcome to Complete Games from me James, hope you guys are doing well and a big thank you to everybody who turned up yesterday for my uh, live stream, yeah beauty, uh, it, was a it was good, uh, I had a lot of people turn up and I ended up staying on t for 8 hours and uh, yeah I'm a bit tired so my voice has gone a bit um, but it was great to say hi to a lot of you so yeah good on you for popping in and saying hello and okay I'll stop with the emotes I promise but yeah it's very hard that's the, my first impression of the game it's, it's been very hard but uh, I managed to set up last night in a little tree here and I've been gathering metal we've got some flak gear now and uh, we're a little yeah finally we can actually go out and hunt so we're going to try and get ourselves a blood stalker so let me introduce you to the HLNA and she's quite important in Genesis. You exchange your hexagons, there is no loot drops or loot crates as such. You save up your points for these loot crates. Uh, somebody on the server's already opened up a green one and uh, it was pretty poor what they got in it so I think that might be down to the rates we've got on the server but it's only day two of it being out so this is where we set up inside this tree trunk. There was lots of metal outside and there's danger everywhere in this swamp and it's supposed to be the easy biome but it really hasn't been at all. It's been quite a challenge but fun at the same time. Um, I have just tamed up a tortoise. If anyone's got any suggestions, stick them down in the comments below for names. Uh, whether it'll last very long <laughs> is another thing but um, just kind of tucked him away in this little gap in, a, in the tree. Um, so I've got a way of gathering narco berries. Now if we just go over to the top here, you see these blue tall plants. These actually gather nothing but fibre and narco berries. And I'm just going to wander over just to show you how much we're grabbing here. See look, 15 with one here, 50 odd now. So these plants here are the narco berry plants in the Genesis playthrough. Now we've got some way to get some uh, narco berries and when it comes to the Bloodstalker it doesn't require narco berries, it needs blood packs. So we've been trying to gather as many as possible because a few people in chat said uh, it takes thousands literally on official settings and I believe that's the same across everything. So we've gonna have to farm a lot of these blood packs. Uh, I've done quite a few already and somebody has already managed to tame a stalker on the server so it is possible to do. It just means um, I'm gonna have to farm a lot of blood. Right, okay. I'll just grab these narco berries while I've gathered them. But yeah, the turtle's actually been quite handy and it's quite tanky. Uh, the, what's going on over there? So somebody's having a fight. It's been so strange. I've been playing solo for a while. It's strange to see people running around on the server. It's good. That's how it should be. And uh, if you want to join and you're on PC, just uh, check out the Discord above and uh, yeah, come in. There's uh, still space there for anybody who wants to give it a go. Okay, so I've, I've got a hundred or so together, but apparently that's not going to be anywhere near enough. So I'm going to have to farm blood like this for the next <laughs> four hours or so if I don't get any help with it. But I'll see you when I've done it. Okay, finally, so that took quite a long time. Uh, I even experimented with making medical brews, but we only have the cooking pot. So uh, it's just, yeah, I think it's a, it's a bug because we couldn't adjust a setting on it. Hopefully that gets sorted soon. It doesn't require as much to try and tame one of these bloodstalkers. While I've been around the base doing this, uh, I've been gathering as well. Just wait until I get low on energy, on health, and then go out, gather some more metal, some more wood. This is the early game of Ark. I've got plenty of grapplings. We're going to need plenty of parachutes as well. And gonna go and hunt for a bloodstalker. Now apparently they hunt us so I know roughly whereabouts on the map they spawn in the tall mushroom trees so we're gonna go up there and see you when I get there. I'm 
Okay, I spy with my little eye. I spot a level 100 there. It's actually quite difficult getting up these trees, but uh, I've gone through quite a few parachutes and grapplings. <laughs> you should say. I miss that. She does come out with some funny comments, actually. Okay, let's just parachute over here and then grappling onto this rock. Don't want to get too close to it. Well, I do, because it's supposed to grab you. Okay, right. You can just see it just there. Doesn't seem to see me at the minute. Um, okay, Ooh. okay, yeah, it's got me. So, you don't want to fight it. Apparently, just let it bring you in and uh, drink the blood. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like my health's going down anymore. So yeah, I've just got to wait it out. Apparently this takes a, a little bit of time. So a level 100. Um, let's see how many blood pa packs it takes. Uh, well, <laughs> I'll see you in a little while, I guess. Okay, Blood Ninja will call you. So over 700 blood packs there. I actually missed how, how many it was in the end, but a lot. I just went AFK for a bit. And, oh, okay, so I'm on PC, so it's like left and mouse, left and right mouse button. For each, there's two webs and it's kind of, this feels a little bit weird. I've got to get used to this. Okay, what does the C attack do? So that's the slicing move. Okay. All right. I think I'm getting the hang of it. But I, I keep getting grabbed by other... Uh, blood stalkers while you're swinging around they can just grab you out of the air but yeah you just gotta kind of get the momentum and it's like using a using a swing I say I've got the hang of it but maybe I haven't <laughs> it's cool I like it it does a double jump as well so it does a second jump for you floating down you just gotta just gotta master Go on, get up there. Yeah, I like I like the movement, but like I say, you can you can just get pulled off them, and it feels quite squishy. This one, uh, level one hundred, only got just under two thousand health, and getting separated from your mount. Um, I don't know if I feel I don't know if I feel that comfortable. We seem to be okay at the moment, though. It's really, yeah, it's quite satisfying swinging around in the trees here, though. It's, uh, it, the mechanics of it, I've just got to get used to it, but I think I'm getting there. Okay. Very cool. I'm liking it. Just go into a turret mode. If you bring out your gun, it stands up. Oh, look, there you go. So, I've been grabbed again. I'm just going to punch so it drops me. Fortunately, I was near the ground then. And... So that's why I don't feel that comfortable. You can just get pulled it off it. And this is the biome that you have to use it in. So I think you want to be carrying parachutes and grappling hooks at all times, really. Okay, try and find my base. This is the other thing about in the swamp area. I haven't had a chance to really explore any of the other areas. There you go, again. And I'm just gonna punch to let it release me. But again, just need to be ready with my parachute. Need to be ready with my parachute. <laughs> okay, that was really close. I don't feel very confident on that 
at all. And I'm slipping. I'm not pushing. Okay. Another parachute. Okay, it's just as well I had some... Oh, it's broken in the branches. Oh, ooh, that was close. I find it strange because they can just pull you off of um, yours. It's a strange mechanic. I, f I feel that the, perhaps they shouldn't be able to do that once you're mounted on a blood stalker as well. But uh, other than that, um, very cool. I'm liking it. And that's the blood stalker. Okay, listen up, Blood Ninja. If you're going to be of any use to me whatsoever, you're going to need to break my fall if I'm dismounted, okay? <laughs> These swamp bugs are a pain. I know that every biome has its own hazard and the swamp zone is supposed to be the easy one, but these bugs really do hurt early game. And one of the ways around it is to craft a torch. If you swing the torch at these, they catch fire. It does burn through a whole torch, but it does save you. Um, other than that, just keep a listen out for the sound. But when you don't have enough stamina, stamina and you can't run away, it's a, a little bit difficult. And uh, But I've enjoyed the challenge so far. I'm enjoying the expansion. And uh, of course, if you'd like to be part of the server, you're welcome to join. It's on PC only, I'm afraid. But uh, links are in the description, all to uh, my Discord. And uh, I certainly think it's an expansion that needs a few people to play it. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.